Hello, Virgo. For those of you that are subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your comments. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. For those of you that are interested in what cards we are using today, I've got John Holland's Psychic Tarot and then Tony Carmine Salerno's Angels, Gods, and Goddesses cards. I've also prayed over the Sibylas and Lenormans. We will use those if we need clarifiers. <laughs> they just said we'll still use them, although we don't need them. <laughs> Ah, but it's good for you guys to see the visuals of the clarifiers because sometimes it does have some extra meaning in there that, that you will pick up on it, particularly in the images. So let's see what we've got going on here. We've got two major arcanas, but they're good. They're positive. You have your situation, the recent past, which you are unaware of or you don't know, and recommendations. And this is actually beautiful, except we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves because uh, there was another reading where it, it looked beautiful. And then as they started giving me information, it wasn't things were not what they seemed. <laughs> so, but yeah, yours is looking, yours is looking good. Okay. So you have two major arcanas. Major arcanas, for those of you that are not familiar, they're big, they're game changers, they're huge. These are like big changes in your life. These are huge. Love, career, moving, these are not small things, but they're also things that are destined, that are faded. So we, we have no control, really, when it comes to the major arcanas. And then you have one minor, and or pip, pip guard if you want to call it and those are daily functions of life those are things that are small those are things you do and you can change with your free will you have more control the situation that you have you have harmony it's card number six traditional tarot this would be the lover's card this is all about union connection relationship a very spiritual connection a divinely guided connection so some of you have a, a love interest and you've been having some challenges. You've had to do some heart healing. You're gonna be emerging from those challenges soon. You don't know it yet though, because it has been challenging, it has been rocky. Uh, many of you, you actually are not together right now. And that's because you both have had to do some healing. For most of you, this is a, it is a divine love. It is a, a soulmate, or it could be a, a twin flame, twin soul connection. But this is a deep love. This is, this is, this is true love. This is a connection that has, it's unlike no other. You feel that this person is the one for you. They feel that you are for them as well. But you, most of you aren't together right now. You are gonna be coming together again in the near future and you're going to have to make some choices, make some decisions. They're saying you're gonna to have to let them back in because for some you've been back and forth with this person and it's been really rocky. And when they come back, you're gonna to want to say, no, I, I, I don't, I don't wanna do this anymore because this hurts. I'm afraid you're gonna leave again, I'm afraid I'm going to be all alone, hurt, upset again. And I, I, I don't know if I can put myself through that, but be open to it. Because when they come back, they're, they're, they'll, be, they'll be back, they'll be all in for good. Because the recent past, what you have is, you have triumphant success. You can see the sword coming out from under the ground of the rubble. You've got light, new day, you have all this transformation. So in the recent past, the two of you have been going through a tremendous amount of transformation, a lot of healing. This card talks, it's traditional to wrote, this would be swords, this would be the, you know, it's all about mental thinking, communication. But this one in particular does talk about new beginnings, exciting challenges, you know, using our strength and our willpower and focus and determination to, to be successful in something that has been a challenge cutting through the barriers cutting through the things that are blocking us healing all that stuff everything that's been holding us back transmuting it releasing it and swords cut both ways they can cut through the bs and get to the root of things for for success or they can cut to the core and hurt be harmful be destructive leave you in despair but your thoughts are saying for some of you these are your thoughts you're swinging back and forth You've been swinging back and forth of, okay, this is gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be great. Oh no, it's dark, it's never going to happen. And a lot of you have been working hard to, to rein in those thoughts, rein in those mental emotions, because that does, what your thoughts and emotions are will actually manifest physically. So it, it's been putting a number of you in, in, in a roller coaster motion. But you have, many of you have been able to, to figure that out and tap into that and, and stabilize it, which is what's, what's leading to your success. And, and your partner has as well. Because they're saying you both have been able to cut through the things that have kept you apart. You've been able to transmute those things, remove those things in order to come back together. You're going to be coming back together soon. Because what you're not aware of, you have destiny. And this is a major arcana, traditional tarot. This would be the Wheel of Fortune. And this all talks about good luck, good fortune, things moving forward, moving forward in your favor. You know, a cycle of positive change and success. 
and growth and it, and it being imminent. It also talks about, you know, with the karmic wheel, the circle of karma, but you have put out good things, positive things, and that's now being rewarded, returned to you. You're about to reap those things that some of you have been sowing for a very long, long time. Some of you have been working toward the self of a lifetime for, for years, some of you months. But when those opportunity, so what, what a lot of you aren't aware of, when the Wheel of Fortune moves it, it moves quickly. So for some of you, this, this return, so this again is what you're not aware of. You're not aware that your partner is developing a plan to return to you. And when he or she shows back up, it's, it's going to be very quick, rapid. It's going to be unexpected. For some of you, they might just show up at your house. But instead of when they do, focusing on the problems that, that you've had in the past, the things that have held you back, the hurts, the heartache, allow yourself to be open to them. Open your heart. You see, she's got her hands above her heart. Allow yourselves to open your heart to them. Let them in. Know that you deserve to be happy. Know that you deserve this love. And trust. Because it is going to take some trust with this because it has been back and forth for a while. But it's going to be beautiful. The, uh, what they're recommending, you have the goddess of awakening. And at the bottom it says this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. And you see, she's just bearing it all. It's all out. There's this divine star above her, illuminating her. So they're, they're bringing this gift to you. The two of you have completed this circle. You've completed the circle of karmic healing. You both have healed yourselves. You've healed your hearts. You've prepared. All you need to do now is be open and let him or her explore you. When they show up, <laughs> it'll be fun for everybody. But don't close off to it because since it has been such a trial and tribulation getting to this point, they're saying that many of you are going to want to be totally closed off when they, when they show back up and they want to resume things actually in a new beginning. It's going to turn out completely different than it has in the past. But your fears and worries that, okay, we're just going to go through this again, are going to cause you some hesitation. But, but say yes. Say yes. When they show up, say yes. Let them in. Now I'm going to read this. Okay. So I'm going to read the book for that. Regardless of whether you are male or female, your feminine creative spirit is being nourished and awakened by the star Venus. The goddess of love is activating your sensuous nature. Romance is in the air. So surround yourself with flowers and crystals, wear your favorite perfume or essential oil, and allow your inner charms to surface. This is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, fun, and creativity. A new romance is about to blossom for an existing relationship. Well, I think that's emphasis. Sorry for the Yorkies. They want to go join the neighbors in their walk, apparently. Okay. A new romance is about to blossom or an existing relationship is about to enter a period of renewed magic, excitement, and enchantment. Either way, this period of renewed romance will eventually lead you to explore a new creative venture with your partner. Enjoy. I am so excited for you. There is hope. There's hope. I'm gonna let everybody know that's going through their heartaches and headaches. This is beautiful. It really is beautiful. Okay. And there were a couple readings where, you know, they had beautiful cards like you, but I was, angels were telling me that, that that is not the case and they were giving me the details. I'm like, I know it looks pretty, but it's not, it's, it's kind of ugly. Uh, but you guys, everything about this is beautiful. Well, we'll pull some clarifiers just for grins and giggles so you can see that it really, it really is beautiful. Okay, and we'll start with harmony and work our way down. I'm not going to do any on that, though. Okay. So you have the Morte, the Donna Maritata, and the Denari. So, so you have the, the Morte, death ending. You have the married woman, woman with children. It just also could be someone that's very nurturing, very mothering. And then you have Denari. And this is, you know, money, something of value. But things that we value are not always money. <laughs> Typically, something that's of true deep value to us is, is love. So yeah, you had a relationship. This is your situation. You had a relationship that ended. This is your, you're meant to be this person that you're connected with. And you've been left alone. But they're realizing now that you are the greatest value to them. They're now realizing the value that you hold and what you mean to them. So for many, Actually, for those of you in this situation, you already know that there's this divine connection with them. They have had to go through growth and healing to, to recognize that connection. It did end. It ended because there had to be healing, but there had to be an, some healing for both of you. Let's be honest. In, in those types of relationships, you, you both have healing to do. It, it's not one-sided. But while you're both doing your healing, 
he or she came to the realization of what this connection is, how much they value, how you mean the most of anything to them. And they're trying, they're trying to uh, figure out how they're gonna make it work out. Okay, yep. So we have the Mercante, Prigione, and Amore. So you have the merchant. This talks also about contracts, agreements, meditation. So he's like kind of deep in, in contemplation, looking out for his ships. Then you have a prisoner. This is someone that has imprisoned themselves. Typically, okay, for those of you in this situation, this person is imprisoned in their past because of emotional hurts and things of the past. But then you have love, true love. So for some of you, he was actually stuck in a contract with someone else. It could have been a marriage. Could have even like been a soul contract. It could have been an ex. Could have been a, a could have been a karmic partner, and they had to end those ties and release themselves. But he took the time to contemplate. What is it that I want? Okay, well I don't want this anymore. I don't. I really. I do not want that. And then freed himself, and now he's ready for true love, ready to move forward. But but you you aren't you aren't aware of that yet. Destiny, what you're unaware of. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yep, exactly. You don't know yet. You have Spranza, Militare, and La Agria. That's awesome. Okay. So, this is hope, dreams, longing, waiting. And then we have, you know, the soldier, military. It could be police officer. But it's really about devising a plan. If you talk to any military member, very strategic. Very strategic. Very detailed. You work out a plan A to detail, a plan B to detail, and a plan C to detail, because they will succeed. Come hell or high water, they will succeed. Nothing is going to stop them from succeeding. So they will devise their plan to the umpteenth degree to ensure success. And celebrations, happiness. Now this is like family celebrations, group celebrations. So for some of you, they're, they're planning how do they come back so that you can celebrate, you can celebrate this connection. So for some of you, you'll be in the near future celebrating marriage, engagement with your family and friends. It's something that all those around you are going to be celebrating. And he's devising a plan. You're waiting and hoping, not realizing he's devising a plan to get you there. And things are going to move forward and they will move forward rapidly. So that is beautiful. I'm so excited. There's hope filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.